Hey, I'm Susie Matheson from The Pink Daisy. Welcome to my store. Well, if you're watching this tutorial today, then you've decided to buy one of our Moving Parts Cards Kit. Today we're going to be featuring this really awesome waterfall card. The thing that's fun about it is as you pull it, it moves and has the motion of a waterfall. So we're going to focus in on this today and you'll have just as much fun making it as you will giving it. Okay, well let's go ahead and get you started on how to make this awesome waterfall card. First of all, if you've purchased one of our kits, you won't even need to have a straight edge cutter because we've done all the cutting for you. But if you are starting from the beginning, these are the different pieces and their sizes, as well as the different um, cutting utensils that you will need. You'll need a three quarter inch round circle. You'll also need a handheld punch, a paper piercer, good pair of scissors, and a couple different types of adhesive. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. We'll start with the two background pieces. We'll put those together and then we'll create what we call an anchor. This anchor is placed about three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the card. Now what you want to remember is there will be no adhesive placed behind the anchor. You'll use your paper piercer and attach your brads. After having pierced through the paper and attaching your brads, you now have a piece that is available to slide something underneath it. And that is the part that will be the moving part that rolls your pictures back and forth. In order to do the assembly, you want to assemble first your squares. So we're gonna put our animals together with their backgrounds. We'll start first with the green squares. then from there we'll back those with the blue squares. After you have assembled you'll notice that you have your three animals that have their blue squares. One animal just has the green square and that's because you're going to start from the bottom up to work on this rolling mechanism. In order to create this rolling mechanism we have cut two inches by nine inches and then we've scored each on the following measurement. The first scoring is done at two inches, and you can do this with a bone folder or on your cutting board like I am. Two and three quarter, three and a half, and four and a fourth. Once that's been scored, you're gonna go back and you're gonna really crease those score lines so that they're ready to roll as you put your pictures on there. What you're gonna do with the moving mechanism is build from the bottom up. So the little animal without the blue square goes on first. Then your adhesive will go between the two scoring lines, attaching only at the top. The next one, the same idea, until you get to the very end. So let's go ahead and attach those. So here's my bottom animal that we're just putting so his blue border is actually part of the moving mechanism. The next one, your adhesive will go only between the two scoring lines. And we'll follow it with the next one. And the next one. So we have worked from the bottom up, ending with the lion. Okay. At that point, you're going to take the bottom of this and you're going to line it up on the anchor. Now, in order to adhere this, the only place your adhesive will go will be at the bottom of your little your monkey. You're going to just go ahead and attach your glue and this one I'm not going to center um, this uh, waterfall because I have a little caption that I want to put on there as well so we're gonna put that there and just to test it out so you're gonna pull it look at that it's working woohoo that's exciting then the rest of it now is just embellishing 
So what we'll do, we've already punched out, this is our little circle punch that we've punched out. We're going to attach it so that the person that you're giving this card to knows that they need to pull this tab. So you fold it in half. I'm going to use my hand punch. And then what we'll do is we're going to tuck this back under and we'll use a piece of ribbon. Possibly. And then we're going to trim up and from there we're going to attach our little saying and the saying is life can be a zoo don't we all know that and then we're going to put this to the side the ribbon that you've got left if especially if you've got one of our kits it's already there for you you just need to take it and tie one knot just like that. Trim up your edges. I just use a glue dot, nice and gummy, and holds everything on really good. And that will go up here at the top. So now you've got this working. The last thing you need to do is to put your little statement where it says life can be a zoo. Thanks for being there. So this is the other little part of the sediment of the card. Just like that. And we'll push that back up. As you work with your card, it will roll easier and easier. Then what you'll do is you'll take it and attach it to the front of the card. And there you have it.